Hey everybody! Today I'm going to do a um, reverse of the string pulls that I've been doing. I will show you. So I've been doing the black with the white. So today I'm going to do white with the black. And I am resining one, or I did resin one tonight, um, that was, is, uh, black with the white. And, um, black is, it really shows everything when you resin. Way more than you would think it would. The white seems to be a lot more forgiving of flaws, maybe. So, um, let's see. So I'm going to use um, my Dutch Boy White Acrylic um, House Paint. Um, I can show you. And I mix it with Floetrol and water. And then that is pretty much, I think, only purchased at Menards. Um, so a lot of people are unable to find it. So I would just use a different um, white paint or if you can afford um, artist paint. But I go through so much of it. And this black paint is Liquitex Basic um, Ivory Black. Again, with Floetrol and water. And I'm just pouring it in here for my string. Oops, I cannot get the... Okay. And then I'm going... I need... Ah! I used a wider cup. I'm hoping that this doesn't get all messy and everything turn gray. That's what I'm fearing could easily happen. And I'm pouring on a cut piece of MDF with mitered edges and I have primed it with um, the Dutch Boy paint and then sanded that afterwards. I get these cut, a uh, teacher at work cuts these for me. And you can find lots of other information, um, such as links to this pan I'm pouring in. There's an Amazon link in my description. There's also my Etsy page that you can um, purchase my art and if you see something on here that you don't see on there give me a holler I may just not have listed it yet I've also got my Facebook page and my email and all that good stuff okay. that was a lot of Wasted white paint. <laughs> okay, I didn't quite realize how much I had poured. See, I'm going to end up getting that string with the white paint from my hands anyways. Feeling it's not going to look quite as cool, but yikes! I just think it will be neat to have them next to each other in like a gallery show. The 
there's just something really stunning about the black and the white versus this way. All right, I have dipped it and now I'm trying to decide where So you can already, you can see a shadow. That's interesting. Yeah. People have um, linked or you know offered up links of wonderful poor artists using the string technique for flowers um, and they're beautiful um, I don't really I try and stay away from pouring things that look like something, if that makes sense so I'm more interested in the abstract lines from um, string pulling, but I do appreciate the links because it is always fun to watch um, other ways of doing it, but I don't, I probably won't ever do that, but never say never. That was kind of interesting. I pulled it a little bit differently. I may actually tilt this a little bit. I think it needs one more. just saw a fly. Oh, I hope it doesn't stay down here and um, make a home in my wet painting. All of my lids and stuff are being used for resin right now. So I can't think of what I would use to cover this. I lost hold of that one. I think I'm gonna like this one tilted though. I didn't like the others tilted as much because then I got too much uh, white paint underneath the black and then I would get um, all those little white cells when I torched. I don't like those. can't use my finger like I usually do to kind of nudge the paint along because it will ruin the lines of it so and due to the string there's high points and low points and 
normally I would just kind of use my finger to give the paint a little help. And I can't. Because like right here, there's hardly any paint. What I'm trying to decide is about this circle and these. Now, why don't I torch it and see where I'm at? so unsure. Gosh. I mean, I kind of like the circle and then these two very straight lines. Um, what a toughie. Maybe I'll just try and tilt a little this way. I don't think the paint's really going to move much. Yeah, it's not going to move anywhere. I like it. The edges start to dry first, and then you see the, the lines or the edges. Done. I like it. Oh my gosh, I just walked over here and a bug died in the painting that I had just done. Oh my god, it's still crawling. Ew. Gross. Hang on, guys. I'm busy killing a bug. All right. I was still trying to crawl through the paint. <laughs> Poor thing. Thank you so much for watching. I am really loving the black and white. And I will catch y'all next time. Have a great day. Bye.